read Ann Imaguchi's article titled, Four Things Social Media Can Teach You About College Writing and One Thing That It Can't. And I'm so excited about the pedagogical implications found in here and its ability to put a positive spin on social media use. She begins by acknowledging what all of us already know. Writing is everywhere. However, she expands on this by encouraging teachers to synthesize the kinds of writing that students are doing on their phones with the kind of writing that they're doing in the classroom. She identifies four key knowledge transfers between social media and writing, and one thing that should stay on Instagram and away from academic essays. First, the practice of participating in social media challenges are inter inherently practices of interdiscursivity. By following the choreography of a TikTok dance to a particular song, you are imitating someone's rhetorical choices, yet creating your own meaning and interpretation, similar to how everything we write is somehow connected to something else. Next, social media allows for a deep understanding of audience. Whenever you create something for social media, there are immediate discourse communities that can view and respond to your post. Oftentimes, these communities share values and attitudes, which is crucial to the success of any funny tweet or any academic essay. In the same vein of the rhetorical triangle, Amicucci equates manipulating your ethos to picking your filters. Changing which Snapchat filter that you use doesn't change the content of your message, but it can shift the tone and the character of how it is perceived. This is often represented through genres in academic writing. Amicucci also reminds us that there is also unspoken meanings embedded in the symbols we use, like emojis and punctuation, and they too can be rhetorical. These things help signal how a message can be read by the audience, something that academic writing can achieve through tone, language, diction, and more. While these are all incredible transferable skills, Amicucci does remind us that writing always needs a why, some sort of exigence that can be expressed beyond a 160 character tweet and that can be supported with evidence and reasoning, which is exactly the kind of thing that we need to focus on in college writing and in academic writing.